Hello and welcome to my Dixie Belle makeover. Today's tiny project includes chalk mineral paint from the new cottage collection as well as gel stain. To begin any paint project I always start by cleaning and inspecting my piece. Cleaning with white lightning is going to degloss your item as well as remove any dirt and debris from your furniture before you begin. Let's start on the top of this table. To complete the top of this table, I'll be using No Paint Gel Stain. This is a great product when you paint indoors or you don't want to do any sanding. Let's change the color of the top of this piece. No Paint Gel Stain can be applied over any surface. You do not have to sand before you apply your gel stain. This is an oil-based product. To apply my No Paint Gel Stain, I will wear a glove and use an applicator pad. I like to wipe on this product in the direction of the wood grain. Since I'll be covering the existing wood surface, I'm going to choose a color that's a little bit darker than the original finish. I usually start by doing the edges of the piece first and then wiping across the top of the surface. You can build layers of gel stain to achieve the darkness that you're looking for on the top of your piece. For this project, I applied two even coats of no paint gel stain, waiting 24 hours in between layers of gel stain. Since I will be replacing the original hardware with something new, I need to fill in the holes with my Dixie Bells mud. This is Dixie Bells mud in white. I will apply this to the holes, wait until it's fully dry, and then sand back to flat. This is also a really great product for getting in and filling in any scratches or dents or missing parts of veneer on your projects before you begin to paint. When you sand this back to flat, you can't even tell that those holes were there. Dixie Bell's Mud is available in three colors, brown, black, and white. For this part of the project, since I will be painting over top of this mud, it does not matter what color you use. So what's the plan for this cutie little nightstand? It's going to be one of the brand new Cottage Collection colors from Dixie Bell. This color is called Cobblestone. This is one of six brand new colors from Dixie Bell under the Cottage Collection line. I'll be using a smooth synthetic brush to apply this paint, covering the entire surface of the base using two even coats of paint. You'll see in the video how well even one coat of paint covers this project. Using my spray misting bottle filled with water, I will use this to spray and mist occasionally to minimize any brush strokes or lines. Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint contains zero VOCs. This is a safe paint to use indoors around your pets and your family. I painted around the original hinges on the piece and painted right over top of the holes where the application of the mud was applied. You can't even see where those holes existed. Now I have room to apply brand new hardware wherever I like. While waiting for this first base coat layer to dry, let's work on the top of our project. We're going to seal that original gel stain that we applied to the top of the piece. Using a blue sponge dampened with a little bit of water, I will apply my clear coat in satin to the top of the piece, moving in smooth, even layers across the wood grain. This satin clear coat goes on in a milky color. Don't worry, it will dry completely clear with a satin finish. You could also choose to use gator hide to seal your project. I'm going to come in now and add my second coat of chalk mineral paint. I find that on the second coat, I keep a more damp brush and cover a little bit more evenly with my brush strokes. This is a minimal coverage for the second coat since the first coat went on so well. 
Using cucumber ice, I dabbed on a little bit of a stencil on the front top drawer. The stencil is called Don't Be Square. I sealed the entire base of the project using How Do You Do Hemp Oil and then added new hardware to the piece. For one more added touch, I came in with my Best Dang Wax in White and highlighted the grooves and areas on the piece to match the top drawer. This cute little nightstand features brand new hardware, Don't Be Square stencil, and cobblestone from the new Cottage Collection. I love this brand new updated vibe to this small piece. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.